Hey everyone, I am so excited to be here with you tonight. Uh, thank you to Alfonso for inviting me and to everyone at the HRC for all the work that you've done and continue to do. Uh, I wanna start off by saying, I understand why people are cynical. As black and brown and queer people, it feels like we're in a cycle constantly demanding the same things and going nowhere. But I promise you, we are moving forward. Even if the steps seem imperceptible, we are moving. And it is important to keep that momentum as we approach this upcoming election. It is important to use our voices to remove the propagators of violence against us. It is important to use our collective power to demand that the next person in that presidential seat is fighting for us. I know it's easy to be cynical in the face of incessant tragedy. Tragedy makes us feel powerless and consequently stagnant. But I promise you, the things that you do to pull yourself and others out of that place are significant, no matter how big or small. We have more power than ever. We have done our ancestors proud and will continue to do them proud by utilizing the privileges and freedoms that they have won for us in service of the greater good. So look at what you can do today. If that's registering to vote, then do that. If that's attending a protest, then do that. If that's signing or calling or donating or speaking out, however it may manifest for you, Find out what you can do in your corner and do that because our voices matter. Black queer voices matter. And in less than two months, we are going to be given the opportunity to prove that.